Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna make something I'm gonna call a master board. And I'm sure you've heard of master boards before. We're gonna do something like this that's gonna get your creativity going and makes it so much easier to give you direction. And after we've done it, it's a large piece, then we're gonna cut it apart. So when we make this master board, you're gonna see a lot of different things you can use it for, but hopefully it really sparks your creativity. Let's get started. So we're gonna start with this master board and it's gonna get us feeling creative and realizing we don't need to know everything that we're gonna to do to it to start doing it. Because sometimes a big white block can be very intimidating. So what I'm gonna start with is some very generic papers in different colors. And I wanted to do this a little more vintage. So I have this piece of dictionary paper, and then I have a piece of music paper and book paper. But what you can see is all the colors are just a little bit off. This is from an old book. This is a ledger page. So this is what we're gonna use to start. Starting with a neutral color for your base, because you can add as much or as little to it but at least you have a feel and a start and it doesn't feel like such a blank slate. So the first thing I'm gonna do with these, I'm going to tear these into pieces. Rectangles, you may have some angled triangles, you may have some squares. I wanted a ripped edge, you could just cut them. And all I'm gonna do is just start tearing all these pieces and making a pile. And we had done another video where we had started like this. This one is just going to be your master board to get started. And then I'm gonna show you how you're going to add just a couple things, which will push you into the direction of what you're wanting to do. Now at this point, you really could distress all of your edges. The reason I am not going to at this time, so this is gonna be so overlapped, I really don't know which edges are going to be showing. And I end up, I may end up covering up a lot of it anyway. So at the end, I'm gonna carefully just go around the edges that we do see on this. To decoupage this on, I'm just gonna use a, a, a clear gel acrylic medium. I could use my liquid patina, you could use a Mod Podge, you could probably use a glue stick, you could use whatever you would like. The wetter the medium, the more your papers may wrinkle and bubble a little. So I'm just going to use this, but any of those will work very, very well. I'm gonna be working on the back of this 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, and all I'm gonna do is start laying pieces down. I'm using some of the different colors and starting with that. You can start in the center, you can start at an edge. I normally don't start at an edge, but you can. And even if you go over the edge, when you're done, you can trim that off. And I'm just gonna start laying them down and there's really no rhyme or reason to how I'm putting them up there. And when I get further into it, then I'll start making some decisions on where I want certain things. So what we're doing at this point is really covering all of the white space. Things can be overlapped, they can be angled, they can be up, they can be however you would like them. We are really just putting your, uh, it's kind of like putting your base coat onto a canvas. What's nice is you can't really make a mistake with this because they all kind of coordinate in one way or another. So no matter how you put it down, it's gonna be very interesting. So we've got our base coat on. I'm gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna add a few more things. So this is dry, and what I'm gonna do next, I've come up with a theme that I want to start a little more springy, some florals, uh, maybe a bird or leaves, and I thought I'm gonna add that to this. So I literally went through my scraps, and I found some wonderful decoupage paper, some scrapbook paper, even a few transfers, so we have a bunch to play with. Now, what you need to remember is that when we're done, we're gonna be cutting this big master board apart. So you don't have to feel like it's one whole piece. So I am just gonna start laying some pieces down. 
So just to get me started, I think I am going to put these transfer pieces on here. Burnish them in a little bit. Now I am going to start decoupaging a few of my floral papers on here. So I'm gonna let this dry and then we are going to cut this apart. Okay, so this is dry. So I'm cutting the excess off the edges and I'm looking at the back side so I can see where the excess is. I'm using my chippy paint stamp from my vintage textures from IOD. I'm using that on the top of this just to give it a little more interest. And I thought it was very fun if you notice through my recycled decoupage paper, you can see all the words underneath it. And that, I think that makes it look really, really fun. So the next thing I'm gonna do very quickly is add a little bit of distressing, but I will probably be distressing all the pieces after I've cut this out again. So I think I'm gonna use this to make several tags, cards, maybe even a little book. Cover. I'm going to start with a couple two-inch tags. Then you're going to know when you start looking at different pieces and different designs and different shapes, you can decide what you want to use this for. I'm probably going to turn this into a fun little book cover and add paper into it. I'm going to chop these down a bit. We'll do some fun angles, get a hole punch, make fun tags. And you could even add a small coin envelope to the back. You could also stamp lines, so you could have it as a journaling tag. Add some fun fibers, make a hole punch at the top, fun fibers. We had used this template recently and I really like it's it. It's more of a pocket. There are so many templates out there. Just take a fun pocket template. And you can just draw it or cut around it and I'm gonna make this cute little pocket. So I'm just gonna put this on the back side where it's very white on the inside, but you could have just stamped it, painted it, colored it, inked it, or just left it. So I'm just using a little bit of my Vintage Photo Distressing Ink to do the edges. And I think this could be a really pretty pocket. So I hope you guys tried this out and hopefully it gets your creativity just opened up and gives you an idea of what you want to do next. You know that a blank slate can be kind of intimidating. So I hope you thought this was fun and it really sparks your creativity. So give this a try, but whatever you do, just have fun.